song I'm thinking about six days. So who is that strange looking guy with the eye patch? And what does he have to do with this strange looking suit? Hey, how you doing? This is Doug from Flat Earth Workshop. And today our subject is Wiley Post, who was a famous aviator back in the 30s. He was the first aviator to fly around the world in eight days all by himself. He installed an autopilot and also a direction finder in his plane, and he was one of the first to do that. Also broke a lot of other records as far as speed was concerned. He discovered the jet stream, which happens at a very high altitude. And to do this, he needed to develop some technologies that uh, hadn't been done before. He got together with B.F. Goodrich for their knowledge in tire manufacture, and they came up with this really odd looking suit concept. Uh, actually kind of cool in space age these days. This was concept number two, and this is the one that we'll be building today in one sixth scale. You can see here, Post is wearing this suit, and uh, you gotta remember, this thing was very uncomfortable. He landed once out in a farm and had to go searching for the farmer wearing this crazy suit to uh, get out of it and all the incredible heat of the summer. So let's start gathering the parts that we need to make this suit. First of all, you're gonna have to find this deep sea diver just the outfit itself. All you're gonna need is the white suit that looks just like this. It's pretty easy to find on eBay. Then go to the Flat Earth Workshop on Shapeways. Here's the address below. You'll need to buy these two things. I've built these for you so you don't have to. The Wiley Post helmet in 1 6 scale and the compressor that goes with it. Shapeways does a great job with their parts. It takes very little work to get them ready to paint. Now go back online to your favorite source, get two pair, that's four, tall leather boots. Uh, some leather gloves that look like this. If they're black, you can paint them brown later on. And get a just an average, normal build Caucasian male body. Try to find yourself a 1 6th head sculpt that looks a little like Wiley Post in the eyes and the nose because that's all you're gonna see. And buy a 1 6th scale parachute harness that looks like this one. So let's go ahead and build. Here's the hard part. Take your four boots and cut them right in half with an X-Acto blade, just like this. Then take the top four sections and cut them the same way. Make it look like this. Take these pieces and weave them together with the laces that you got with the boots. And when you're done, you'll have these four laced pieces. Here's what we do with those. You put two, one on each arm, and then the other two, you put one at the top of the boots on the pant legs, as shown. Now get a small paintbrush and using some artist oils that have been thinned out a little bit, kind of mark these things up, make them look like they have a little bit of grease on them, like you've been crawling over the face of an airplane all day. And the gloves, same treatment. Now here's the part where you have to relinquish your man card. You gotta buy some Mueller doll foam. Yeah, I know, crazy name. Anyway, it works great to be able to wrap around and make uh, the, the body look a lot puffier, like it's under inflation. Then take your head sculpt, put it into place. I also put on a white shirt that also made him look a bit more puffy. And here is the result. Now, you're gonna wanna put your helmet on. Let's give it a test fit. Here's how it looks when it comes from Shapeways. We're gonna take it off, do some sanding on it, and then paint with Krylon aluminum acrylic paint and make it look kind of rough because the actual article did look kind of banged up. And notice how we have some modeling in the finish, give it highs and lows, look like some grease stains. Now to make a glass visor, use some excess plastic from blister wrap. Cut them in a circle, put it into place. Now comes the parachute harness. When you're putting it on, you can use this little carving tool to be able to fidget everything into its proper place. This goes over that, this goes under that. This little tool will really help. Oh, and don't forget to put an eye patch on. You can make it out of adhesive athletic tape. Now sit back and admire your work. 